Key, Gray Dalio, the founder and CEO, chairman of Bridgewater Associates, uh, discussed his concerns about the coronavirus emerging out of the Chinese economy, uh, specifically its negative impact on GDP and the global macroeconomics um, as it spreads across uh, other countries. Uh, this is a really, really extremely warning uh, for the Chinese economy, particularly because the last time when SARS impacted their economy in the early 2000s, they saw a half percent to one percent decline in this is a total GDP growth um, in their macro economy. So this, particularly in high seasons during the vacation period in the Chinese economy, um, we're seeing shutdowns of major, major marketplaces such as Disney. Uh, McDonald's just announced they're closing several of their major franchises uh, to limit their uh, the exposure to employees and customers. Uh, many movie theaters have been shut down given the confined resp respiratory concerns in those type of environments. Um, and this is going to impact a lot of other uh, economies given the size and scale of the Chinese economy. Uh, some investors have mentioned that China had waited to announce this type of, uh, this type of um, viral disease um, after the trade deal uh, or because it was during the Davos period, whatever the case may be. This is definitely alarming. Um, investors need to be aware of what the what the tremor uh, or may uh, cause across other other environments. How it may impact um, the U.S. markets. We saw that happen on Friday with a large downfall, and how it may impact the supply chain across uh, other economies, specifically the U.S. Now that we have a new trade deal in place, how it may impact supply manufacturing. Remember when there are quarantines, a lot of employees won't show up to work. People are not going to travel to China. Chinese airlines and flights and airports have been shut down for long periods of time, which is a significant impact not just on their airline industry, but the ability to travel and actually do business on international waters, both incoming and outgoing. So this has a big impact. Um, I think it's something to be definitely be aware of, be concerned, obviously be safe when you're traveling in any parts of the U.S. since there's been several casings um, across the, our own uh, land. So definitely keep an idea. Um, this, is, this, is, this is not good, but this is a strong opportunity for the U.S. and many other countries to pick up their own feet and do things that, uh, that they haven't been able to do so they don't have to rely on the Chinese economy for the entire period of time. So let's see what happens um, going into the rest of the month. Hopefully this case is not that bad and, um, it, and it stops uh, so we can get back on to the, ch the chain of growth we've seen across uh, many other economies coming from 2019.